guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the double crochet V-stitch pattern. Uh, there's actually a couple different V-stitch patterns that you can do and a couple different double crochet V-stitch pattern variations as well. So I'm just going to show you this variation of the double crochet V-stitch pattern. Uh, at the end of the video, I am going to show you a chart that you can follow if you would like to have a bunch of different recommended blanket sizes that you can make and their dimensions. So if you want to use a different crochet hook that I'm using or a different yarn that I'm using or a different combination of the two that I'm using, you can absolutely just grab a tape measure and create your foundation row chain as long as necessary to meet that blanket's width requirement. Sound good? I will also include at the end of this video a couple approximate foundation row chain counts that you can use, but I'm also going to specify with those chain counts what crochet hook I was using and what size yarn I was using so that if you're using the exact same combination that I am, you can just go straight with that approximate chain count requirement for your blanket. Or uh, if you are going to use something different, just refer back to the chart and your measuring tape. That'll be great. All right, let's go ahead and get started with this pattern. Okay, so this double crochet V-stitch pattern is in a multiple of two plus one. So go ahead and calculate how many foundation row chains you would need in order to meet your blanket requirement. Uh, I'm just doing a, a quick example swatch for you so you know how to do the pattern. So I'm gonna do a chain of 21. One, two, three, four, 18, five, 19, six. 20, 21. Great, we have our foundation row chain. You're going to double crochet in the third chain from your hook. So one, two, three. We're gonna actually put two double crochets into that same chain. Perfect, okay, then skip a chain and two double crochets in the next chain. And then skip a chain and two double crochets in the next chain. And you just repeat that pattern all the way to the end of your chain. And you will actually be putting two double crochets in the very last chain. So I will go ahead and meet you at the very last chain to show you what to do next. Until then, go ahead and continue working this skip one, two double crochet, skip one, two double crochet pattern all the way to the, the end of your foundation row chain. All right, skip one, last chain. We are putting two double crochets. One, Two, great, okay, we are done with row one. On to row two, we're going to chain one, turn our work, and we are going to put two double crochets in this space right here between the two groups of two. Okay, we are not putting anything between our two double crochets. We're gonna skip one double crochet, skip the second double crochet, and Above that skip chain spot, we're going to put two double crochets. Perfect. Skip the two double crochets, find the space in between, and put two double crochets. All right, skip the two. Find the space in between and put two double crochets. One, two. And repeat that all the way across and I will meet you at the end. Great job guys. Okay, we have reached the end of row two. We're actually going to be putting our last two double crochets we're gonna skip this double crochet, skip that double crochet, and what you'll see are those foundation row chains, the turning chains that we use to get onto row one. We're actually gonna put our two double crochets in that spot right there to finish off row two. 
perfect guys so it'll look something like that great so we're going to chain one turn our work look at that not pretty okay let's go ahead and do row three together so again, we're skipping those first two double crochets and looking for that gap space right there. And that's where we're putting our two double crochets. Okay, skipping those two, looking for the gap. All right, continue all the way across row three. Great job, guys. Okay, at the very end of row three, we are just going to skip this group of two double crochets, looking for that chain one, and we're putting our two double crochets in that last space right there. One, two, great. Okay, look how that just lines up so well. Put that down right there so you can see. Great, it's gonna look so pretty and the pattern is really pretty also. Perfect, and that's all you do for this double crochet V-stitch pattern is just chain one, turn your work, and continue to put two double crochets in the gap space between the groups of double crochets. That's it. All right, guys, the next thing you're gonna see is a list of my approximate chain count requirements for your foundation row, depending on the project you're looking at. And I will also show you the chart with different blanket options that you can make and their measurements. Both of these charts will be located in the notes section below with a link that you can click on, so that way you can print those off for easy access. Uh, also, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and. I will see you with my next video. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.